Hello there. Today I will show you how the members of the British band Placebo had changed. You'll learn their real names and ages. Watch this video to the end to see what all the musicians of this alternative rock band from London looked like in their youth and early career, and how they look like now in 2023. Enjoy watching. Stefan Olsdell played drums in his teenage years, but then he started to learn bass guitar and piano. Stefan went to the same Luxembourg school as Brian Molko, but they didn't communicate then. However, by coincidence, a few years later they met in London, where the guys quickly agreed on their musical tastes and created the band Placebo. Their first album entered the British and French charts. Olsdell took part in the creation of all the albums of the band, including Sleeping with Ghosts and Meds, becoming one of the most recognizable guitarists in the alternative music genre. Stefan remains an active member of Placebo and continues to realize his creative ambitions. By the way, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss many exciting videos. Let's move on. Steve Hewitt became a drummer by accident, at the request of a school friend. In time, having professionally mastered the drums, he realized that music was his vocation, and he was ready to do it all his life. Before he was 23 Stephen was in many bands of varying degrees of fame. But the most successful for him was the work in Placebo. He fully joined the band in 1996 and contributed to four albums. The release Without You I'm Nothing was a success in both Britain and the USA, and the singles Every You Every Me and Pure Morning are still considered to be among the most famous singles of the band. Meds was the last album on which Hewitt participated. Swedish-born Robert Schultzberg had already shown his creative impulses in local bands during his school years, where he met Stefan Olsdell. Rob took part in a recording of the first popular placebo hits, which are still high on the charts today, including Bruce Pristine, Nancy Boy and Come Home. Despite his contributions to placebo's success, Schultzberg left the band in 1996 due to a strained relationship with vocalist Brian Molko. The life of former placebo drummer Steve Forrest was full of musical experimentation and work with various artists. He began his creative journey in 2001 in the band Holiday, which was later renamed Eveline. In 2006, while touring in the US, Stephen learned about the band Placebo and was surprised by their drive and immediacy on stage. Very soon he joined the band himself and successfully performed with them at large-scale concerts in different parts of the world. In 2015 Forrest decided to leave Placebo to satisfy his personal musical ambitions and started working with another band Planes. The musician continues to develop creatively to become the best at what he does. Brian Molko was born in Brussels but spent his childhood in Luxembourg. In his youth he spent most of his time playing guitar and recording his music, despite the fact that his parents did not approve of his desire to become an artist. After moving to London, Brian co-founded Placebo with Stefan Olstel. Their debut album of the same name in 1996 was a breakthrough for the band and was a commercial success. Since then Placebo never ceases to delight their listeners. Molko's extraordinary voice and creativity have helped the band achieve tremendous success, winning numerous awards, and becoming one of the most recognizable in the alternative rock genre. Watch these videos to see more interesting transformations of your favorite celebrities. See you in the next video.